Welcome to the mat. You're here with me, Rachel Corvero, at Yoga for Life. I'm going to bring you a fascia flow today. So this is going to be movement patterns that are supposed to feel good in the body. So go ahead and take this to the range of motion that feels right for you. If something doesn't feel right, don't do it. Um, and just really listen to your body. So if you'd like to come on down to seated, however you're most comfortable, we'll get started. So we're just going to start to tune into our body. You can close your eyes or gaze down in front of you. Your hands can relax on your knees or in your lap, whatever is best for you. Find those nice inhales. Feel that connection with your breath in your belly. Begin to lengthen the inhales, drawing your breath all the way up through the torso, into the collarbones, and then exhaling, let it all fall back down. Find that inhale nice and deep, roll it all the way up to the top of the skull. Exhale, let it fall. This time we're going to inhale, lift up with the shoulders, draw them towards the ears. And as you exhale, roll them down and back. One more nice deep breath like that. On your next inhale, we're going to lift up with one hand and close off with one nostril. Exhale on the open side. Inhale on that open side. Close it off, swap and exhale. Find a flow, inhale. Always swapping for your exhale. Taking this time to allow your brain to settle, to connect with your breath. Two more breaths here. And when you're ready, release that hand down to your lap. You can gaze straight ahead. Find some nice length through the spine. We want to be like someone's pulling a string at the top of our head. We're going to send our rib cage forward. Inhale. Exhale, keep that length, but send the ribs back. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, back. Two more. Coming back through center, we're going to find that nice lift and then roll into that right side. Take it full circle all the way around. Starting to warm up through the sides of the body. You can just let go here, find movement that feels good. <coughs> Excuse me. Three. Two, take one more circle, and wherever it feels best, change directions, rolling the opposite way. Great job. 
One more circle and come all the way up through center. We're going to send our hands out. Find a nice big inhale. Draw those hands up. Exhale, flip those palms, taking them back down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale down. Let it all settle. This time we're going to hold at the top of the inhale. Make some fists. Exhale, pull down with that right elbow. Send it up. Swap it to the left. So we're looking for this compression through the side body that we're lowering. Three, two, last set to each side. Coming back up through center, send those hands out nice and wide. We want those hands in line with the shoulders. And then take that left thumb and roll it all the way down. See how far back you can roll it. Let that shoulder roll in. Then roll that thumb back out, swap it to that right side. So find that little flow side to side. You can move the lateral body if you like. Three, two, one more breath here. Coming over, drop that right hand down, lift up with the left. Think of compressing right ribs down to right hip. Feel the lengthening on that left side body. Maybe you gaze up. I'm finding a sweeping motion. Draw that right left hand across the front of the body, coming all the way down. Lift up with the right. Again, find that compression on that right side. Left side, sorry. I don't know left from right. Find your flow. Side to side. Great job. We're going to come over to that right side and hold. Nice inhale, exhale, roll that pinky down towards that right corner. And then open up with the left hand, reaching towards the back corner from behind you. Inhale, sweep it forward. Flip that palm up, take it back out. Flip the palm down, bring it forward. Feel that stretch across the back as you come forward with the hands, squeezing those back muscles to lift up. Feel that stretch across the front body as you come back. Last one coming open. And we're going to bring that left hand outside a right knee, lift up tall with the spine. Nice inhale. Exhale, twisting, gazing over that right shoulder. Great job. Taking that right hand to that left knee, we're going to bend into our elbows, tuck the chin to the chest, and press the ribs back, feeling that lengthening through the, sh through the back of the shoulders. Inhale, lift up nice and tall. Exhale, melt the heart forward and find a body roll, rolling back, pressing back through the rib cage, lift up nice and tall. One more roll down. Sweep those hands out, lifting all the way up above the head. Exhale, pull those elbows down. Turn the hands in, fingertips to the tops of the shoulders. Right elbow comes down, lift up with the left, flow it backwards, left to right. Three. Two. Last set. Coming back through center, lift up with the elbows. Exhale, finding that length through the spine. We're going to round, tuck the chin to the chest, draw the elbows down. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, draw down, squeeze through that core. Inhale all the way up. 
Last one, exhale down. Send those hands forward. We're gonna lift up nice and tall with the spine and send the bony parts of the wrist forward. So we really wanna reach, draw the fingertips in towards the wrist and then flip it, draw the fingertips back. Find that gentle flow. One more. Drawing those fingertips down. We're gonna lift up with the wrist, keep the fingers pointing down. Hands come up above the head, flick the fingers to the back of the room, squeeze those shoulder muscles, roll those shoulders down. Hands coming back forward, fingertips down, lift up. Exhale to roll down. One more. This time we're gonna lift all the way up. And then pull that left hand down. Bring that right pinky towards that left corner. Find that inhale, open up towards the back of the room. Squeeze those shoulder muscles back and then squeeze through the core as you come forward, palm down. Flip the palm up, take it out. Find your flow. Great job. Last one, coming open. And then taking that right hand, left knee, lift up nice and tall with the spine. Inhale, exhale, find your twist, gazing over that left shoulder. Keeping that spine nice and tall. Coming back through center, we're just gonna release our hands down, shift the weight forward and then take the knees back right underneath the hips, finding our tabletop. So we're gonna find the little sway side to side with the body. Maybe snake-like movements through the spine. Whatever feels good to your body. Coming back through center. We're gonna find a nice extension crown to tailbone. Holding onto that length in the spine, send the heart forward, squeeze the back muscles. Exhaling, we're gonna lift through the core, tuck the hips under, squeeze the belly button into the spine. Find your flow, inhale forward. Keep the length in the spine. One more. Finding your center here. We're gonna take those left toes out to the side and walk those hands out so we can bring that right hand right underneath the shoulder. Find an inhale, sweep that left hand up over by the ear. Finding that nice opening through the lateral side of the left body. And then we're gonna sweep that left hand forward, bend into that left knee, taking that foot so it's stacked right underneath the knee here. This right knee is right underneath that hip. So we're gonna draw that left right elbow over and then throw it out to the side. So find that cross body connection left to right. Move with your breath. Three, two, last one. Coming back open with those arms, lower that right hand, take those left toes back out, find that nice extension. Sweeping back through center, plant those hands, step those right toes out. Moving right over to the gate pose, stack that left hand under the shoulder. This right, left hip is right above the knee, inhale, lift up with the hand reaching that arm by the ear. Nice length lifting through that right side body. And then sweeping forward, turn that knee back out, coming back out through center. That left hand's gonna bring that elbow to that right knee and then come back. Move with your breath, find that flow. Two more. Great job. 
Coming back through center here, we're gonna roll that right knee down and then lift up with the left. So find that movement flowing through the hip joint. Coming back through center, we're gonna draw that knee down, lower those hands, take those toes back and find that tabletop. We're gonna tuck our toes underneath and bring our hands back by the knees. Press into the tops of the toes, into the ball of the foot, rolling back, drawing the heels close to the mat, and then rocking back to the ball of the foot. Rolling out through the bottoms of the feet here. This time as we come back, we're gonna lower those heels, lift the hips, finding a forward fold. Pedal the knees left to right. One more breath here. Keeping the chin tucked to the chest, the shoulders nice and heavy, and the fingers pointing down. We're gonna bend into the knees and find a slow roll all the way up. As those shoulders come stacked above the hips, lift up with those hands. Coming all the way up, flick those fingers to the back of the room, rolling those shoulders down. So finding your mountain pose here, you wanna be nice and grounded in those feet. Check in and make sure that your feet are in line with your hips. So I some, sometimes say, grab your finger guns, pew, pew. Make sure you're good to go here. So go ahead and reach those hands down by the sides. We wanna keep our feet grounded here. We're just gonna test out where we're at with the lateral sides of our body. So lean to that left side, keep that right foot grounded, and then come back through center, lean to the right. It's okay if you have a balance check. Finding your way to center here. We're gonna keep those toes and heels grounded. We're just gonna lean forward, feel the toes grip, and then lean back. Find that gentle flow. It's not far that you have to move. Great job. Find an inhale, lift up with that left hand. Reach that right hand down low. Lift it up, swap it out. Moving with your breath. Great job. Coming back through center, we're just gonna take our hands to our hips. We're gonna take our thumbs right into the top of the glutes here. We wanna squeeze, feel them engage, and then shift the hips forward. Rock the hips back. Let the chest come low. Inhale, lift up, send the hips forward. Lift up with the ribs. Find the flow that feels good. So keeping those hips rocking front to back, we're gonna add in some hands here. So send those hands forward as the hips come back. Flip the palms, send the hips forward, hands back. And that flow. This time as we come forward with the hips, see if you can't lift your heels. And then coming back, lift the toes. Find your flow, it's okay if you weeble wobble, that's tricky balance. Last one. Coming back through center, hands back to those hips, we're gonna step that left foot forward. So it's just about a comfortable walking step, it's nothing too crazy, not too far apart. So we wanna draw the heels down, toes forward. We're gonna bend into those knees, sink low, find that ankle flexion as we come down. Pay attention to all those stabilizers in your feet. Three, two, one. We're gonna come down low, draw that right elbow towards left knee, and then step forward with that right foot, lift up left hand, take it back. So again, find the pace that feels good to you. If you're looking for a little bit more of a workout, you can 
speed it up, really loading that weight into that left leg and springing up. Or you can just work on the balance of movement with the left and the right side, slowing it right down. Two more. Taking that foot down, that elbow towards that knee. We're gonna step out to the side, lift up with that left hand. Take it back down. You got this. Three. Two. Holding that foot out nice and wide. Find that swish of the hands, gazing towards the opposite side than the lifted arm. And let it go. Three, two, slightly let those hands come back down. We're gonna start to twist through the torso here, letting those hands come cross body. And we're gonna start to tap opposite shoulders left to right. Three, two, Last one, sweeping both hands out nice and wide. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, draw them down by the sides. We're gonna tuck our chin to our chest, bend into the knees. We wanna find compression through the core, so squeeze those core muscles as you roll that body down. Coming down low, we're gonna find an inhale, roll it all the way back up, start to transfer that squeeze into the back body as you lift up. Find that roll. Your hands can just do whatever they feel like doing here. Keep those toes grounded. Last one, coming all the way down. This time as we come up, we're gonna sweep our hands up. Exhale, sweep them down. Let one hand come right between the feet. You can even close your eyes, see how your body knows where it is in space. Trusting that you won't slap yourself. Three. Two. Last one, inhaling all the way up. Flick those fingers to the back of the room. Squeeze the glutes, press the hips forward. Roll those shoulders down. We're gonna bend back into those knees. Feel that compression. Reach those fingertips down towards the mat, finding your fold. Coming all the way down, we're just gonna Find a little sway with the legs. Moving through the lateral lines of the legs. Walk those hands in through center and step that right foot right underneath the tip. So here we're gonna lift up with the toes, straightening the legs, and then draw the toes down, lift up with the heels. Find your flow. Bending those knees as you lift the heels and straightening the legs as you lift the toes. One more to each side. Lowering those toes and heels down. Find your slow roll all the way back up to standing. Lifting up with those wrists. Flicking those fingers to the back of the room. Squeeze the glutes, press the hips forward. Rolling hands back down to the hips. This time step that right foot forward. So again, we're just about that comfortable stepping distance. We want our toes facing forward. Our heels are gonna try to stay grounded here. We're gonna bend into those knees, sink low, lift up. Great job. Three, two. This time as we come down, bring that left elbow down. And then as we lift up, we're gonna step forward, lift up with that right hand. So find that cross-body movement. Taking that range of motion and that pace that feels good to you. That right leg is hitting all that stabilizing. We're squeezing into that glute as we lift those hips. Last one, coming back. This time, lift up, step to the side. Three. Two. Last one, coming back through center, sway out those arms. Sorry, step those feet out wide. Whew. 
<sighs> Find that nice big inhale here. We're gonna roll that right, right shoulder back and then the left. So here we're gonna imagine we have a line drawn from that left hip to that right shoulder and see how it lengthens as we roll back and the same thing across the other side of the body. So we have this kind of like a big X across the body on the front and the back. So right now we're opening through the front. We're squeezing those back muscles. And we're gonna bend into the knees here and then swap it out. Feel that compression from that opposite shoulder to hip as we come forward. And then roll it over to that opposite side. Find that side to side. Three. Two. Last one, coming all the way back up through center. Inhale, lift up with those hands. Exhale, pull those elbows down wide. We're gonna find our cactus arms here. So we want our arms nice and in line with our, our shoulders here. And we're just gonna find a twist through the core here. So keeping those feet grounded, pay attention to what happens throughout the legs, how they kind of spiral as you move. Three. Two, one, coming back through center here. So we're gonna shift the weight towards that uh, right leg and then squeeze that right shoulder back as we lift up with those left toes. So that's what it looks like, coming back through center, swap it out to the other side. We're looking for this back body compression. Three, two, one, coming back through center, send those fingertips out. And we're just gonna find the sway, really let go with those arms. You know when you're a little kid and you're like, I'm really bored, and you don't know what to do with yourself, so you just swing your arms around. Great job. Let those arms slowly come down. We're just gonna shift the weight towards that right side, lift it back up center. Again, we're gonna find those arms so that left elbow comes down, right comes back up as we lift. Three, two, last one. We're gonna come low to that right side, take those hands down. This left foot is gonna tuck behind that ankle, lower that back knee down. Walk your hands out if you need to. We're gonna lower our hips down to the mat. So we want this front leg to be where we're gonna press into, you can use your hands or you can just scoot right up. So we're gonna come back up, squeeze those glutes, press the hips forward, coming back down. If you don't need your hands, don't use them. Option, add a little core here, lifting up, pull those knees in, draw them back down. Great job. Last one coming back, we're gonna hold at the top here. Take those hands down for support and then adjust yourself so you can come up into like a nice proud soccer pose. So this left knee is right underneath that left hip and this front foot is right underneath the knee. We're lifting up nice and tall with the spine here. We wanna find that compression through the back body. So take that left hand, and dig that thumb right into the top of that left glute. We wanna feel that muscle engage. It's real lazy, so poke it around if it needs to be woken up a little bit. You know, tell it who's boss and that you're here to make it work. So find that squeeze and then shift the hips forward. You'll find that your body starts to have an arc down from the bottom of that knee, up through the core, lifting up with the ribs. Find the flow that feels good to you. Keep making sure that glute squeezes as you press forward. Three, two, last one. This time we're gonna squeeze, come forward, lift up with that left hand. Exhale, shift those hips back, let that left hand sweep down. Inhale, lift up, squeeze the glute. Find your flow. Great job. Last one, this time sweep both hands up. 
Okay, and that slight back bend, really squeezing into the glutes, press those hips forward, lift up out of those ribs, and then shift the gaze up. Exhaling, taking those hands back down towards center. We're gonna walk them out to a 45. Planting the hands here, you can rock through those hips if it feels good. Coming back through center, stack that left hand right underneath that shoulder. Inhale, lift up with that right hand, opening those fingertips to the back wall. And then squeezing through the core, we're gonna like thread the needle, draw that hand back towards that left side. Open it up, squeeze those back muscles. Find that transfer, back compression to belly compression. Great job. Last one, sweeping all the way back through center. Taking those hands down, step that right foot back. And again, you can find a little sway here, left to right. So we're gonna come back nice and stacked up, hands right underneath the shoulders. Your gaze can be right down in front. We're gonna lift up with those right toes and send them over to that left side. Lower that left hip down. Inhale, come back up through center, swap it out. Find that little side to side. If you're feeling really coordinated here, you wanna come back through center, tuck those toes, flip yourself all the way over. Lifting up with that opposite hand. Last one. Coming back through center, and then drawing those knees down. We're just gonna sink the weight back, tucking those toes under. And again, we're gonna rock out the bottoms of those feet. Feel that connection with your breath. And then draw those heels down to the mat. Find the hips lifting, slow roll up. Coming back into standing here, we're just gonna take those left toes, step them behind towards that right side, and then lift up with that right hand. Stepping back through center, swip out, switch out those hands and the feet. Find that flow side to side. Walk it to the front of your mat. Great job. Coming down with that left foot, we're gonna take those right toes down behind. You can always take your hands down to the mat here. We're just gonna come back down to that knee and then shift those glutes to the mat. Again, you can use those hands pressing up or you don't need them, don't use them. Great job. Always have that option if you want that little core work coming down. Gain that control, squeeze those knees to the chest. Three. Two. Last one, we're gonna come forward this time, holding that knee stacked. Turn those back toes out so we can be stacked up. Again, we're in that nice soccer pose as they call it. So we're nice and stacked up that um, back knee right over that hip. Take that right thumb right to that glute and make sure it fires here. Squeeze, shift the hips forward. Find that gentle pulse. Three. Two. This time as we come forward, sweep that right hand up. Exhale, shift the hips back, take that hand back. Make sure you're still getting that glute squeeze. The front body won't stretch open and feel safe unless that back body is supporting. And the same goes for the back body. That's why we find those compressions on the opposite side to lengthen. Three, two, Last one, sweeping all the way back up, both hands. Again, we're gonna find that lift out of that core. 
finding that glute squeeze, pressing those hips forward, lift those ribs. Maybe the gaze follows the thumbs. And then coming back down, we're gonna walk those hands out. Find that nice 45 degree angle. Rock through those hips if it feels right. Finding yourself nice and stacked up with that shoulder right above that right wrist, lift up with that left hand. Squeeze that shoulder back as you open up through the front body. Find that compression, thread it through. Inhale open, exhale down. Three. Two. Last one. Coming down with that hand, sweep it in through center. Take those toes back. So here we're just gonna walk our knees back a couple of inches, tuck those toes underneath, and then lift up with those hips, finding a down dog. So we wanna be nice and strong in those shoulders. They're nice and wide, tailbone's nice and high. You can pedal the heels left to right here. Find an inhale, lift up to the balls of the feet. Pivot the heels towards one side. Keeping those palms pressing into the mat, armpits nice and square. Feel that side body stretch. Inhale, swap to the other side. So you can hold to one side or you can find the movement that feels good to you. Great job. Coming back through center, we're gonna bend into the knees, lowering them down to the mat, then bend into the elbows, taking them to a hover above the mat, really gripping the mat with the fingertips here. We're gonna pull ourselves forward, coming up into a cobra. Shoulders are away from those ears, crowns reaching nice and tall. Slight bend in those elbows. Then we're gonna find that reverse, so we're gonna lower down, press ourselves back, tuck the toes, lift the knees. Find that down dog. And again, come back down through that, lower those knees down. Bring those knee elbows to a hover, pull your weight forward as you come up through your cobra. Untucking those toes, and then sweep it back. Two more, so you find your pace. back down to that down dog. Walk those feet in. Finding yourself in a fold. Again, we want our feet right underneath our hips. Find a slight bend in the knees here. Let the belly come down to the thighs. Let the head relax. Maybe you say yes or no, or nod rather. Maybe you draw circles with the top of the head. Then we're gonna find that slow rise all the way up to standing. So squeeze through that core, keep those fingertips and shoulders nice and heavy. So we roll all the way up. Send those wrists forward, fingertips down. Coming nice and stacked, lift up with those wrists. Flicking those fingers to the back of the room, roll open. Hands coming down by the sides. So here we're just gonna check in with that balance again. So go ahead and keep those toes grounded. They're right underneath the hips. Find that shift left to right. Great job. Coming back through center. We wanna make sure that we're nice and stacked evenly over our feet. Our core is squeezing in. We're nice and engaged. We found that center of our gravity here. And then we're going to tilt forward and tilt back.
Great job. Coming through center here, we're gonna bend into our knees, find some softness, release through those shoulders. And this doesn't have to match my body. You feel this out how it feels good to you. We're just gonna roll through those shoulders. And then we're gonna add some hip rolls. So press those hips back as the shoulders come low. And as the shoulders come up, hips go forward. Two more circles. Letting yourself come all the way down into your fold. Sway those hands side to side. Just letting go. Keep those arms swaying. We're gonna find a slow rise. Find that flat back, reach those fingertips out. Coming back through center, slowly rise all the way up, letting those hands come back down by the sides. Again, we're gonna find that softness with ourselves, so bend into those knees, let those shoulders relax and curl forward. We're gonna find that roll towards that left side this time. And again, you listen to your body here, you can close your eyes and just roll it out. As your shoulders come forward, hips go back. Shoulders come up, hips forward. Great job. Finding that nice slow lower all the way down. You can find that sway again if it feels good. Taking those hands down to the mat. Again, we're gonna scoot that right ankle behind the left and just lower yourself all the way down. Coming down onto your glutes here. So here, we're gonna find some space. This right foot isn't gonna press into this left foot, but it's gonna press down into the side of the mat here. We're gonna have a nice flex in this left foot so it's anchoring down. And we're gonna roll onto our backs here. So once we're here, we're gonna lift up with those hips pressing into the outside of that right foot, and then suck that hip into the socket as you roll the knee across the body. Keep squeezing, you should feel it in the glute and in that lower core, and roll it back out nice and wide. Lowering those hips down to the mat and releasing through that glute muscle. Find that squeeze to lift, roll that knee across. Squeeze it in. Take it back down, release the hips to the mat. Last one. Rolling that knee down. Send that leg out and just give it a little shake. And then bending into that left leg here. Again, we don't want that heel right up against that right leg, we're giving it its own space. We're just pressing into the outside of that foot. We're gonna squeeze into the glutes, lifting up, and then pull that hip right into the socket as you roll that knee across towards that right side. Once that foot comes flat or almost flat, roll it back out to the side. Lowering those hips down and then releasing the squeeze through the glute. Lift it up, squeeze, squeeze. Feel that engagement through the core, through the glute. Lower it back down. Last one, lifting up, rolling that knee in. Extending that leg out here. We're just gonna give it a little shake. And then taking those hands right by the hips, palms down. Draw the heels right underneath the knees. We're gonna find length through the spine here. Pressing the rib cage down. We're gonna squeeze into those glutes, lift up with the hips. Feeling that squeeze, press the hips high. Feeling that front body open. And then find a nice slow lower all the way down. Curl the knees into the chest, nice flex in the feet. Tuck the chin to the chest, roll up with those shoulders. 
Take it back down. Plant those hands, press through the tops of the shoulders, the top of the rib cage down, and then squeeze the glutes, lift it up, find your bridge. Option to hold right here, maybe you wanna clasp the hands, rolling those shoulder blades together, lifting up nice and tall. Again, you can stay here if you'd like. You can lift the heels, really pressing those hips high. Releasing the bind in the hands, the heels to the mat. Untuck those shoulders, find that slow roll back down. Curl those knees in, tucking the chin to the chest. Lift up with those shoulders. Maybe give yourself a little smooch. Show yourself some love. And then rocking up to seated. Finding yourself in a nice comfortable position. We're gonna find some gentle sways through the torso left to right. Just let the neck go with it. Finding your way back through center. We're gonna take the right hand to that left ear and guide that right ear down towards that right shoulder. Keep that left shoulder down. Relaxing through the jaw. We're gonna find a slight nod to the head. Going back through center, release that hand down to the knee, lifting up nice and tall. Take that left hand over to that right ear and guide the head down towards that left side. Again, that left shoulder is drawing away from the ear. Relax through the jaw. Find a little nod with the head. You'll feel it. Great job. Coming back through center, find that nice big inhale up through center. We're gonna tuck our chin to our chest. And then making a really funny face, we're gonna stick out our lower jaw and lift it up. Scooping the neck back and rolling it back down. Take that up two more times, really pressing that lower jaw forward. Last one. Coming back through center here. So we're just gonna start to tune into our breath. You can keep those little sways side to side if it feels good or if you need any last minute body spirals, whatever you need to settle your brain back down, to get ready to sink inward. Bringing all of your attention to your breath. Imagining our torso is like a balloon and we fill up all the way from the base of the belly, all sides at once. Find that nice deep inhale. Exhaling through the nose. Inhale, fill it all the way back up. job. Keeping your eyes closed, gently guide your hands down behind you, release your feet out and come down to your back. You can keep your legs bent or extend them out, whatever is most comfortable for you. Allow those shoulders to tuck underneath the hands to rest by the sides. Sit 
settling in for your Shavasana. Allowing all of that movement to settle in. beginning to deepen your breath. <sighs> Filling all the way up and exhaling with a sigh until you're empty. Drawing that left hand to the right ribs and right hand to the left ribs. We're going to squeeze ourselves nice and tight. Feel the ribs expand against your hands and fall with your exhale. Allow your breath to settle to its natural pattern, your own rhythm. Begin to wiggle your toes. Tap your fingers on your ribs. Find a nice big inhale, sweeping the hands up above the head and stretching the body long. When you're ready, curl those heels under the knees and roll on to whichever side you would like. And when you're ready, press into that top hand to come up to seated. Finding our last inhale together, hands up above the head. Drawing in all of that love and energy right down to your heart, showing gratitude for yourself for this movement we shared. And grounding your energy with a gentle tap to the mat, closing out this class. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you are all doing as best as you can during these uncertain times. Sending you all the love. And I can't wait till we're back here on the mat together.